Michelle told of Michelle Miller, Dane the Mock Lane, the Hull School of Shaw. August is Coos, obviously, Dumb Fodge, a Corov, or I'm lost by Shield to Shaw. Tommy, I'm shot a new Cocary Publi, or a Yen of Arangashka Akadul, a Tayen to a Griff, a Gown Vorguid, Corsiline, the Cooper Blain and Us. Law Mori Baylor in the Hull School at Taw Ann, August Ukadnis Mo, August Nis Tavita, a Reese in Vor Sail Frame. Gomarishi vor gameyacht or agus wing gakra or of Sisela Taro the Mak, Markemaha, the crude Uskal and the Heron Gallif. My name is Professor Michelle Miller, Dean of Students at this university, and on behalf of the National University of Ireland Galway, I want to extend to you all a very warm welcome to this conferring ceremony. To you, the graduates, I say that in awarding these degrees today, we are publicly acknowledging and paying tribute to your intelligence, hard work, and dedication to the course of studies that has brought you to this mm -hmm. point. The honor conferred on you today represents an important milestone in what I hope will be distinguished, fulfilling, and rewarding lives and careers. And it is right and proper that the achievement is shared and celebrated with your families and friends and the academic community generally, all of whom have contributed in a variety of ways to this, your academic success. This formal occasion is an appropriate celebration of that success, involving as it does the special robes and the use of Latin, English and Irish. This kind of ceremony is a tradition that spans many centuries. It goes all the way back to the first university in Ireland, established in Dublin in 1320, though it no longer exists, and has continued through to the present, with Ireland's most recent university created within the past year. NUI Galway was originally one of three Queen's Colleges established in 1845 in Belfast, Cork and Galway, and the first students were registered in 1849. From its very beginnings as Queen's College Galway, this university has been about ensuring that those who pass through here as students, wherever they make their future afterwards, go out into the wide world equipped with the best education that they can get and that we can give them. The word university comes in shortened form from the Latin, Universitas Magistrorium Escolorium, which translates as a community of teachers and scholars. And that notion of community is something we continue to cherish here. Our staff work tirelessly to bring the best of education and the best of postgraduate supervision into play so that our students, when they face the world in a new competitive environment, can hold their heads high, knowing that they join an outstanding group of people, Galway graduates, among whose numbers are to be found many of the most illustrious figures in Irish civic, political, business and cultural life. After today's ceremony, you, the graduates, will take your place in that group, and it is my fervent hope that you will do so with pride. Latin was originally the working language of the universities, and as a link to the past, we still use the language in the conferring ceremony. In the Latin formula of words used in your parchments, two things are confirmed publicly by the university. The academic quality of your reward and the moral character of you as graduates. I hope that as you go through the rest of your lives as Galway graduates, you will remember and strive to uphold both of these characteristics. I would now like to introduce you to the various people who are central to this ceremony. The president of NUI Galway, Professor Kieran O'Huckertig, 
Professor Donald Leach, Dean of Graduate Studies, who will present the candidates to the President, and Ms. Nora Murphy, Administration and Planning Officer, College of Science and Engineering. I now hand over to Ms. Nora Murphy, who will open the formal proceedings in Latin. Pre honorables praises to Taque Universitas. Heik Comitia Universitaria, Hudia Convocata Sunt, Ut Kidam Omines, Ad Gradus Academicus Admitantur. Eosiaske Presentabit, Professor Donal Leach. Pre honorables praises to Taque Universitas. Colossian Aholiacta, August and Inultorot, College of Science and Engineering. Higher Doctorate on Published Work, DSC Science. Presente Vobus Hunk Meum Filium. Quem scio tan moribus quam doctrina habilum et idineum esse qui admentator ad gradum doctoratus in scientia propter opera edita. Et catibe fidemia tester expondeo totique academiae. Ego authoritate mihi concessa, admitter te ad gradum doctoratus in scientia propter opera edita. Professor Peter McHugh. The Higher Doctorate in Science DSC degree is awarded to Professor Peter McHugh for research published in over 160 journal articles over the last 30 years addressing fundamental problems and applications in the computational modeling of the mechanical behavior of materials spanning the biomedical and mechanical engineering domains. Peter has made seminal contributions to the fundamental understanding of the role of material microstructure in determining material performance and has successfully applied this knowledge in the analysis, design, and performance assessment of medical implants and devices, in particular for cardiovascular applications. Colossian and on the Holy Yukta, Socialta, August on Lane, Celtic, College of Arts, Social Sciences, and Celtic Studies. Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, Arts, Humanities, and Social Sciences. Presente Vobus Haskamias Filias, Philoskamios. Quos omnis quita amoribus quam doctrina habilis et adnias esse qui adventantur ad gradum doctoratus philosophiae. Et que tibe fidemia tester expondeo totique academiae. Ego authoritate mihi concesse, admitta vos ad gradum doctoratus philosophiae. Schiefer Aiken is awarded a PhD in Irish studies for research supervised by Professor Louis de Puer on traumatic memory of the Irish Civil War through the testimony of veterans of the conflict. Inia Bianchi is awarded a PhD in Italian for research supervised by Professor Paolo Bartolini on the philosophical work of Mario Perniola and the experience of dandyism. Massimo Catanio is awarded a PhD in Spanish for research supervised by Dr. Lorna Shotnessy and Dr. Colin Quigley on the role of the flute in contemporary flamenco music. Massimo Catenaio's PhD also meets the criteria for the award of the European Doctorate. Michal Gagan is awarded a PhD in Classics for research supervised by Dr. Edward Herring on the ideology and contestation of elite masculinity in archaic and classical Greece. Devon Goodwin is awarded a PhD in Education for research supervised by Dr. Elaine Keane on a constructivist grounded theory study of widening participation and social class in Irish teacher education. Lorraine Grimes is awarded a PhD in history for research supervised by Dr. Sarah Ann Buckley on migration and assistance to Irish unmarried mothers in Britain from 1926 to 1973. Gary Hussey is awarded a PhD in political science for research supervised by Professor Neil O'Doherty on specialising Laclau's philosophical theoretical category of antagonism through analysing spatial dynamics of violence in Derry. Wayne Kelly is awarded a PhD in sociology for research supervised by Dr. Brian McGrath on digital youth creating digital capital, the experiences of rural communities in Manitoba, Canada. Michael Leiden is awarded a PhD in Irish studies for research supervised by Dr. Maeve Neurhain on the use of noise as a digital era ontological response in Irish popular music. Rory McCabe is awarded a PhD in Irish studies for research supervised by Dr. Maeve Neurhain 
on socio-musical life on Clare Island, County Mayo, through an ethnography of music making in the 21st century. Gareth McConway is awarded a PhD in education for research supervised by Dr. Neve Flynn and Dr. Mary Fleming on enterprise education in post-primary schools. Sally McHugh is awarded a PhD in education for research supervised by Dr. Tony Hall on designing technology enhanced learning for children's engagement with cultural heritage in schools and museums. Bernadette O'Connell is awarded a PhD in history for research supervised by Dr. Kevin O'Sullivan on voluntary activism in Dublin and Toronto in the age of the influenza pandemic of 1918 to 1920. Enda O'Flaherty is awarded a PhD in archaeology for research supervised by Professor Elizabeth Fitzpatrick on the symbiotic relationship between human settlement and seasonal lakes in historical Ireland. Aoife O'Brien is awarded a PhD in education for research supervised by Dr. Manuela Heinz on the development of a screener for algebra to measure second year students' knowledge. Carla Pedroso Mateus is awarded a PhD in Geography for research supervised by Dr. Aaron Potito on the development of long-term daily air temperature series in Ireland and assessment of extreme temperature events. Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, Child and Youth Research. Sarah Carthy is awarded a PhD in Psychology for research supervised by Dr. Kieran Sarma on preventing violent radicalization an evidence-based approach to countering terrorist narratives. Rebecca Jackson is awarded a PhD in sociology for research supervised by Dr. Bernadine Brady and Dr. Cormac Forkin on the value and meaning of collective participation for young people in care. Patricia O'Connor is awarded a PhD in sociology for research supervised by Professor Caroline McGregor on representation of child protection and family support in the print media. Michelle Walsh is awarded a PhD in political science for research supervised by Dr. Carmel Devani on the exploration of sexual harassment among Irish adolescents, experience and understanding. Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, Philosophy of Art and Culture. Gino Chirini is awarded a PhD in philosophy for research supervised by Professor Felix Kruhur Omurku on the Kantianism of the culture theorist Abby Warburg as contributing to the current debates on realism. Doctor of Philosophy, PhD in Psychology and Health. Grace O'Sullivan is awarded a PhD in Psychology for research supervised by Professor Brian McGuire, Dr. Michelle Roach, and Dr. Lina Kaeus on the ways in which young children learn to cope with pain in everyday situations. Master of Arts, Advanced Language Skills. Presenta vobus hosca meus filios, quos omnius guitam moribus quam doctrina habilis et idoneus essi qui adventantur ad gradum magisteri in artibus. Id catipifidemia tester axpondeo totique academiae. Ego authoritata mihi concessa, admita vos ad gradum magisteri in artibus. Martin Joseph. Higgins. Master of Arts, Culture and Colonialism, Owen Harris. Master of Arts, Environment, Society and Development, Thomas Joseph Hughes. Honours Bachelor of Arts, Presenta vobus hosca meus filius, quos omnius quieta moribus quam doctrina habilis, et idineus essi quiadvantantur ad gradum baccalaureatus in artibus honoro curso confecto. It can be fidemia tester expondeo totique academiae. Ego authoritate mihi concessa, admita vos ad gradum baccalaureatus in artibus honoro corso confecto. Connor Mark Bogan. Martin Smith. Colosta Angno on Vartis Fubli August Angeli, College of Business, Public Policy and Law. Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, Business, Law and Public Policy. Presenta vobus hasca meus filius filosca meus, quos omnis quita moribus cum doctrina habilis edidineus essi qui admentator 
al gradum doctoratus philosophy. It could tip a fidemir tester axpondeo totique academiae. Ego authoritate mihi concesse, admit of us ad gradum doctoratus philosophiae. Carla Diacaza is awarded a PhD in law for research supervised by Professor William Shabas on transitional justice in Africa. Sandra Duffy is awarded a PhD in human rights for research supervised by Professor Siobhan Mullally on gendered identities, gender recognition and international human rights law. Andrew Ford is awarded a PhD in human rights for research supervised by Professor Siobhan Mullally on the application of the European Convention on Human Rights in areas of contested statehood. Athena Eleni Giorgansi is awarded a PhD in law for research supervised by Professor Eamon O'Shea and Professor Eleanor Flynn on addressing human rights in older age and the potential for a new UN convention. Neve Henley is awarded a PhD in economics for research supervised by Professor Eamon O'Shea on the nature and form of personhood within dementia care provision and relationships. Ashling Keenan Gaylard is awarded a PhD in marketing for research supervised by Dr. Anne Torres on investigating how employee electronic word of mouth adoption and use correlates to brand advocacy in Ireland's agri-food and drink sector. Helen Kyo is awarded a PhD in human rights for research supervised by Professor Siobhan Mullally on gendered institutional abuses, illegal adoptions and truth recovery, the potential of human rights law. Emily Lachlan is awarded a PhD in law for research supervised by Professor Kieran Walsh, Professor Thomas Scharf and Professor Jared Quinn on the conceptualization of community living for older persons with disabilities. Josephine O'Brien is awarded a PhD in Business Information Systems for research supervised by Dr. Murray Scott and Professor William Golden on identifying the value of online interaction by defining sense of community for public value creation. Patrick Ward is awarded a PhD in Economics for research supervised by Professor Patrick Gillespie on the drivers of healthcare utilisation and costs for older people in Ireland. Master of Commerce, MCOM. Presento vobis hunc meum filium, quem scio tam moribus quam doctrina habilum et idineum esse qui admentator ad gradum magisteriae in mercatur. It get tibi fidemia tester, axpondeo totique academiae. Ego authoritate mihi concesse, admitter te ad gradum magisteriae in mercaturi. Ryan Berger. Colosta an Lais an Altranish August Naholiakta Slonja. College of Medicine, Nursing and Health Science. Doctor of Medicine, MD. Presento vobis honcomium filium, quim scio tam moribus quam doctrina habilum et idineum esse qui ad betater ad gradum doctoratus in medicina. It cit tibi fidemia tester expondeo totique academia. Ego authoritate mihi concesse, admitted ad gradum doctoratus in medicina. Paul Fennessy is awarded an MD in anesthesia for research supervised by Professor John Laffey on enhancing the safety of cricothyroidotomy for emergency airway access to initiate artificial respiratory support. Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, Medicine, Nursing and Health Sciences. Presenta vobis hascamius filius philoscamius, quos omnius scio tamoribus quam doctrina habilis et idineus esse qui advetanter ad gradum doctoratus philosophy. It ket tibi fidemia tester, expondeo totique academiae. Ego authoritate mihi concesse, admitta vos ad gradum doctoratus philosophiae. Hayam Yaya al Riyami is awarded a PhD in Health Promotion for research supervised by Professor Sirsha Nigaon and Dr. Lisa Purcell on mapping the capacity of health promotion interventions for non-communicable diseases in Oman. David Barua is awarded a PhD in Pathology for research supervised by Dr. Sanjeev Gupta 
on the prognostic and therapeutic value of XBP1 signaling in ER positive breast cancer. Barbara Battle Kirk is awarded a PhD in health promotion for research supervised by Professor Margaret Barry on evaluating the impact of health promotion competencies on practice, education, and training in Europe. Claire Beecher is awarded a PhD in nursing and midwifery for research supervised by Professor Declan Devan on developing a survey instrument to evaluate women's experiences of their maternity care in Ireland. Lorraine Burke is awarded a PhD in health promotion for research supervised by Dr. Colette Kelly and Professor Saoirse Nigaon on the context and circumstances of early sexual initiation among adolescents in Ireland. Rachel Comer is awarded a PhD in nursing and midwifery for research supervised by Dr. Linda Beastie and Dr. Elaine Keane on exploring the cervical screening behaviours of women over 50 years of age. Elaine Finucan is awarded a PhD in nursing and midwifery for research supervised by Professor Declan Devan on the de design, synthesis and public understanding and involvement in randomised trials. Shannon Hernan is awarded a PhD in medicine for research supervised by Dr. Michal Newell on resistance exercise for lower leg vascular disease. Mashid Hossein Zadeh Dekorki is awarded a PhD in pharmacology and therapeutics for research supervised by Dr. Howard Fernhead on how cell death proteins induce other cell fates. Ruth Levy is awarded a PhD in anatomy for research supervised by Professor Gary Duffy on an additive manufactured macro encapsulation device for eyeless cell replacement therapy for type 1 diabetes. David Monaghan is awarded a PhD in anatomy for research supervised by Professor Gary Duffy on new ways to deliver therapy to the heart to treat heart disease. Clara Murphy is awarded a PhD in occupational therapy for research supervised by Professor Agnes Scheel on enabling occupational engagement in the transition to independent living. Aoife Thornton is awarded a PhD in physiology for research supervised by Dr. Michelle Roach and Professor David Finn on the role of an, the endogenous cannabinoid system in behavioral changes associated with autism. Kate Ward is awarded a PhD in pharmacology and therapeutics for research supervised by Dr. Michael Connell Dennedy on the interaction between liver X receptors and toxic cholesterol accumulation as therapy for adrenocortical carcinoma. Masters in Surgery. Presento vobus hunc meum filium, quim scio tam moribus quam doctrina habilum et idoneum esse qui admitator ad gradum magisteriae in chirurgia. It get tipa fidemia tester, ac spondeo totique academiae. Ego authoritate mihi concesse, admito te ad gradum magisteriae in chirurgia. Farhan Shadzad. Master of Philosophy, Health Sciences. Present the vobus hanc meum filium, quium scio tam moribus quam doctrina habilum et idiom SCKA admitator ad gradum magisterii philosophiae. It gets it epidemia tester ex bondeo totique academiae. Ego authoritate mihi concesse, admito te ad gradum magisterii philosophiae. Lauren Andrea Connell. Master of Science, Interventional Cardiovascular Medicine. Presento vobis hasca meus filius filosca meus. Quos omnius quita moribus quam doctrina habilis et idineus esse qui admitantar ad gradum magisteriae scientiae. Id quit tip epidemia tester ex bondeo totuque academiae. Ego Authoritate mihi concesse, admitta vos ad gradum magisteriae scientiae. Nuradem Almada. Sachin Arokiam. Chris Linney. Patrick Magari. 
Amy McMorrow. Elona Pelumbi. Jane Piggott. Mohammed Sharif Kazemi. Jawad Zaman. Postgraduate Diploma in Health Sciences, Gerontology. Presenter Vobus Haske Mir Filius, Quas Omnius, Giotam Moribus, Quam Doctrina Habilis et Idineus Essi, K. Admentanter, Ad Diploma, Post Baccalaureatum in Veletudinis Scientius. It get tibifidemia tester, axpondeo, totique academia. Ego, authoritatum e concessa, admittivos a diploma post baccalaureatum and valetudinus scientis. Helen Lawler. Bernie Maxwell. Kolosh the Naholiachta August and Enel Torot, College of Science and Engineering. Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, Science and Engineering. Presento, Phobus Haskemias Filius, Philoskemias, Quos Omnis, Quita Moribus, Quam Doctrina Habilis, et Idineus Essia, Qui Admentantur, Ad Gradum Doctoratus Philosophiae. Et Quit Tibet Fidemia Tester, Axpondeo, Totique Academiae. Ego, Authoritatem Mihi Concessa, Admitta Vos Ad Gradum Doctoratus Philosophiae. Mohanad, Al Ahmadi is awarded a PhD in Information Technology for research supervised by Dr. Michael Shukat and Professor Peter Pochter on adaptive codec bitrate selection algorithms to improve VOIP quality of experience. Ahmad Al Bengali is awarded a PhD in Physics for research supervised by Dr. Niall Colgan on accurate patient dosimetry in modern computed tomography systems. Holly Allison is awarded a PhD in biomedical engineering for research supervised by Professor Alicia McNamara on how mechanobiology contributes to bone loss in osteoporosis. Akram Asadi Shehni is awarded a PhD in microbiology for research supervised by Professor Lokesh Joshi and Dr. Michelle Kilcoyne on milk protein glycosylation and its probiotic and immunological effects. Richard Burke is awarded a PhD in Applied Mathematics for research supervised by Dr. Petri Piroinen on emergence in hybrid adaptive multi-agent systems. Hector Capella Monsonis is awarded a PhD in Biomedical Engineering for research supervised by Professor Dimitrios Zigoulos on a multifunctional xenograft for a diverse range of clinical indications. Sarah Carroll is awarded a PhD in biochemistry for research supervised by Dr. Muriel Grenon and Dr. Veronica McCauley on the effect of an informal science education on the science confidence of sixth class pupils. Ben Carty is awarded a PhD in biochemistry for research supervised by Dr. Elaine Dunleavy on the function of the centromere protein CENPC in fruit fly stem cells. Chetan Chinta is awarded a PhD in biochemistry for research supervised by Professor Afshan Samali on approaches to targeting kinases in unfolded protein response in cancer. Ronan Cooney is awarded a PhD in civil engineering for research supervised by Dr. Owen Clifford on the environmental performance of freshwater aquaculture using life cycle assessment. Stuart Kredekan is awarded a PhD in biochemistry for research supervised by Professor Afshin Samali, Professor Adrienne Gorman, and Dr. Kenneth Martin on investigating the role of IRE1 alpha in acute myeloid -like leukemia using a novel diagnostic test. Anna de Faria y Silva is awarded a PhD in chemistry for research supervised by Professor Alan Ryder on the use of anisotropy resolved multidimensional emission spectroscopy for the analysis of protein. Andrea de Pieri is awarded a PhD in biomedical engineering for research supervised by Professor Dimitrios Zagolas on in vitro organogenesis. 
Daniela Dos Santos Oliveira is awarded a PhD in informatics for research supervised by Professor Matthew Dakin on the extraction of data models from knowledge graphs. Salam Dulaimi is awarded a PhD in physics for research supervised by Dr. Ray Butler and Dr. Aaron Golden on advancing our understanding of the magnetic properties of brown dwarfs using high speed optical photometry. Jesus Febris Pascual is awarded a PhD in civil engineering for research supervised by Dr. Marcus Keane on model based diagnostic methodolo methodologies in air handling units. Michael Flanagan is awarded a PhD in civil engineering for research supervised by Professor Jamie Goggins and Dr. Noel Harrison on characterization and testing of carbon fiber peak for linerless composite cryogenic storage tanks for space vehicles. Zudi Gebre Mehden is awarded a PhD in botany and plant science for research supervised by Professor Charles Spillan on user led innovation by African women smallholders to develop labor saving tools and technologies. Ivor Gagan is awarded a PhD in biomedical engineering for research supervised by Professor Alicia McNamara on how estrogen withdrawal in osteocytes alters integrin function, primicillium elongation, and pro osteoclastogenic signaling. Isabella Glockowska is awarded a PhD in biochemistry for research supervised by Professor Adrienne Gorman and Professor Afshin Samali on characterization of a novel caspase 8 activating complex in cells deficient in key mediators of apoptosis. Mohsen Hazenzadeh Mogimi is awarded a PhD in mechanical engineering for research supervised by Dr. Nathan Quinlan on the dynamics of liquid flow and the formation of microscopic droplets in drug delivery devices. Jasmine Hedlam is awarded a PhD in zoology for research supervised by Dr. Michelle Dugan and Dr. Tom Doyle on investigations of jellyfish envenomation throughout the Irish and Celtic seas. Shane Heavey is awarded a PhD in mechanical engineering for research supervised by Dr. Patrick McGarry and Professor Sean Lean on computational design and experimental testing of spiral blade vertical axis tidal turbines. Marika Hummel is awarded a PhD in botany and plant science for research supervised by Professor Charles Spillan on biofortification of crops to improve the nutrition and health of the poor in sub-Saharan Africa. Richard Ayede is awarded a PhD in mechanical engineering for research supervised by Mr. Enda Fallon on integration of systems engineering tools to optimize quality, efficiency, and patient safety in radiotherapy systems. Sarah Johnson is awarded a PhD in biomedical engineering for research supervised by Professor Peter McHugh and Dr. Patrick McGarry on the mechanical characterization of thrombus analog material for in vitro assessment of acute ischemic stroke treatments. Adriana Kelly is awarded a PhD in biomedical engineering for research supervised by Dr. Manus Biggs on laser based approaches to improving chronic neuroelectrode functionality. Ili Ko is awarded a PhD in information technology for research supervised by Dr. Desmond Chambers on the application of artificial intelligence for enhanced cybersecurity defense within the ISP domain. Niranjan Kotla is awarded a PhD in biomedical engineering for research supervised by Professor Abe Pandit and Professor Yuri Rochev on the development of target oral nano drug delivery medicine to target inflammatory bowel disease. Michelle Larkin is awarded a PhD in botany and plant science for research supervised by Dr. Dagmar Stengel and Dr. Dara Stanley on the ecology, conservation and monitoring of plant pollinator interactions in semi-natural grasslands. Joseph Lemley is awarded a PhD in electrical and electronic engineering for research supervised by Professor Peter Corcoran on foundational and applied deep learning techniques in data augmentation and neural network design. 
Eamon Lenehan is awarded a PhD in zoology for research supervised by Dr. Colin Lawton on the conservation of the critically endangered European eel in hydropower regulated rivers. Brian Lutzi is awarded a PhD in biochemistry for research supervised by Professor Afshin Somali and Professor Adrian Gorman on investigation into the role of UPR signaling in breast cancer. Aidan Long is awarded a PhD in zoology for research supervised by Dr. Colin Lawton and Dr. Tom Doyle on investigating the interannual variability of gelatinous zooplankton abundance and diversity in the Northeast Atlantic. Joanna Marquez Barros is awarded a PhD in informatics for research supervised by Professor James Duggan and Dr. Paul Butchelar on novel approaches to the use of internet based sources to enhance public health decision making. Nicole McCarthy is awarded a PhD in biochemistry for research supervised by Professor Adrienne Gorman and Professor Afshin Somali on investigating cellular stress re responses and their potential as therapeutic targets in paediatric cancer cells. Kayser Mehmood is awarded a PhD in information technology for a search supervised by Professor Matthew Daquin on efficient solutions to the pathfinding task over distributed linked data. Samir Mehra is awarded a PhD in civil engineering for a search supervised by Professor Annette Hart and Dr. Conan O'Kalik on the development of sustainable high performance connection systems for mass timber buildings using thermomechanically densified wood connectors. Patrick Meyer is awarded a PhD in chemistry for research supervised by Professor Henry Curran on a planar imaging velocimetry study of fluid flow in a rapid compression machine. Midsipon Mia is awarded a PhD in information technology for research supervised by Dr. Michael Shukat and Dr. Enda Barrett on energy efficient spectrum sensing schemes for the cognitive radio based Internet of Things. Simon Mills is awarded a PhD in microbiology for research supervised by Dr. Gavin Collins on characterizing and elucidating microbial community assembly and biofilm formation mechanisms in methanogenic biofilm granules. Emir Munoz is awarded a PhD in informatics for research supervised by Dr. Matthias Nichols on a contribution towards the discovery of missing knowledge using machine learning and data management elements. Stephen Murphy is awarded a PhD in biochemistry for research supervised by Professor Noel Lowndes on mechanism of action of new factors in the repair of broken chromosomes. Stephen Nolan is awarded a PhD in microbiology for research supervised by Dr. Florence Abram and Professor Vincent O'Flaherty on the optimization of agriculture based anaerobic digestion for bioenergy production and digestate sanitization. Emer O'Reilly is awarded a PhD in biochemistry for research supervised by Dr. Eva Zagetzi on the study of how the bone marrow protects leukemia cells from chemotherapy. Laura O'Sullivan is awarded a PhD in biomedical engineering for research supervised by Professor Alicia McNamara on time sequence of biomechanical adaption in trabecular tissue during estrogen deficiency. Aaron Quinn is awarded a PhD in biomedical engineering science for research supervised by Professor Lokesh Joshi and Dr. Rita Hickey on mining milk for factors which modulate host microbial interactions in the GI tract. Mariam Sakte is awarded a PhD in biochemistry for research supervised by Professor Noel Lowndes on characterizing the role of KIF18B in regulating the repair of broken DNA. Rachel Shaw is awarded a PhD in information technology for research supervised by Dr. Enda Barrett and Dr. Enda Howley on the application of machine learning towards automating resource management and scheduling strategies in cloud environments. Connor Shine is awarded a PhD in biomedical engineering for research supervised by Professor Peter McHugh and Dr. William Ronan on the computational modeling of PLLA degradation for analysis and design of a biodegradable polymeric stent. 
Irene Simphia is awarded a PhD in Biomedical Engineering for research supervised by Professor Alicia McNamara on how estrogen deficiency alters the mechanical biological responses of osteoblasts and osteocytes. Angelina Smilanova is awarded a PhD in Earth and Ocean Sciences for research supervised by Dr. Martin White on the distribution and variability of climate relevant ocean water masses of the Northeast Atlantic. Marina Steiner Brown is awarded a PhD in chemistry for research supervised by Professor Alan Ryder on using an isotropy resolved multidimensional emission spectroscopy for the analysis of IgG type proteins. Vyasna Coffee is awarded a PhD in biomedical engineering for research supervised by Professor Alicia McNamara on bone tissue and autograft regeneration following high speed surgical cutting. Yan Jin Sun is awarded a PhD in chemistry for research supervised by Professor Henry Curran on quantum chemistry calculations of radical addition reactions with unsaturated C2, C3 and C5 hydrocarbons. Aaron Talti is awarded a PhD in biochemistry for research supervised by Professor Afshin Samali on the study of metabolic stress response pathways and their roles in pancreatic cancer and in inflammation. Adrian Stefan Unguranu is awarded a PhD in electrical and electronic engineering for research supervised by Professor Peter Corcoran on biometric user authentication via unconstrained palm print recognition on a smartphone. Camilla Van Zanten Kura is awarded a PhD in chemistry for research supervised by Professor Alan Ryder on the analysis of protein polymer nanoparticle interactions using single molecule spectroscopy. Matthias Weibel is awarded a PhD in microbiology for research supervised by Dr. Florence Abram on microbial processes mediating priming effects and the coupling of carbon and nitrogen cycling in soil. Sophia Wasserman is awarded a PhD in Earth and Ocean Sciences for research supervised by Professor Mark Johnson on modeling fish behavior. Omnia Zayed is awarded a PhD in Information Technology for research supervised by Dr. Paul Butelar and Dr. John McRae on automatically processing metaphors in tweets with the aim of improving healthcare communication and language learning. Master of Applied Science. Presento vobus hoskimias filios, quos omnis, gita moribus, quam doctrina habilis, et idineus essi qui adventator ad gradum magisterii in scientia applicanda. It could tip a fidemia tester, axpondeo, totique, academiae. Authoritate mihi concesse, admita vos ad gradum magisterii in scientia applicanda. Filippa Aruda Pontes. Kieran O'Dwyer, Master of Engineering Science. Presenta vobus hosca mias filius, quos omnis quita moribus quam doctrina habilis et idineus essi qui adventantur ad gradum magisterii in scienta ingeniaria. It quit tipifinimia tester ex bondeo totique academiae. Ego authoritata mihi concesse, admita vos ad gradum magisterii in scientia ingeniaria. Alan Carty, Connor William Dean, Augustin Garcia Pereira, Daniel Joseph Long, Master of Science, Presenta Vobus Haskamias Filius Filoscamius, Quos Omnis Quita Moribus, Quam Doctrina Habilis et Idineus Essi, Qui Admitantur, Ad Gradum Magisterie Scientia. It could tip a fidemia tester, ax bondeo, totique, academia. Ego authoritate mihi concesse, admita vos ad gradum magisterie scientiae. Gail Esno. Rosa Fernandez Pisson. Master of Science in Agribiosciences. Stephanie O'Donoghue. Master of Science, Chemistry. Damien Jablonski, Colin Smith, Master of Science, Sustainable Resource Management Policy and Practice. 
Mustafa Al Mogamse. Postgraduate Diploma in Biomedical Science. Presenter Vobus Hank Miam Filium, Com Skio Tamoribus, Com Doctrina Habilum et Idinium, SCKA Admitator, Adgradum Diploma Post Baccalaureatum in Scientia Biomedicali. It get to be Fidemir Tester, Axpondeo, Totike Academia. Ego Authoritatum Mihikan Chesse, Nitavos Adgradum Diploma Post Baccalaureatum in Scientia Biomedicali. Sinead Durley. Bachelor of Science. Presenter Vobus Haskamias Filius, Philoscamias, Quis Omnius, Gita Moribus, Com Doctrina Habilis, et Idineus Essi, Qui Admitantur, Ad Gradum Baccalaureatus Scientiae. It get to be Fidemia Tester, Ax Bondeo, Totique Academiae. Ego Authoritatem Mihican Chesset, Mitavos Ad Gradum Diploma, Baccalaureatus Scientiae. Christopher Brian Cogan. Tessa Rachel Doran. Vincent Michael Gleason. Sarah McHugh. Bachelor of Science, Earth and Ocean Sciences. Daniel Peter Cody. I now pass you over to Nora Murphy, who will close the ceremony in Latin. Pre honorabilis praises. Caramonis rite confectus. Finum queso fascias huius. Convocaciones Universitarie. Thank you very much, and Gramina Mahagiv Tafalshroy Vilig. My name is Kieran Ohokde, I'm President of NUI Galway, and I'm particularly pleased to welcome you virtually here today, Tamayana Haas of Enchal of Enu, Bio on Aliyev. As you might know, we, we, we did consider carefully a graduation this year. Uh, and we were very conscious of the challenges of graduating online uh, once again, and the meaning of, of, of such graduations and whether this would be meaningful. And we felt it, we, we, it would be for a number of reasons, particularly for our research students. Uh, first of all, we want to bring you together uh, virtually uh, to recognize the work you've done and to recognize as we have done with your supervisors, uh, that collective effort that has been so significant in the context of, of uh, COVID-19 and the COVID pandemic. We want to, in particular, commend you for the detail of the work you've done. So in each case with the doctoral students and uh, the doctoral graduates as you are now, we have read out some detail of your work because it is important for us to recognize the work you've done and to name it, to be with you on this day and to recognize along with you, your supervisors, uh, and uh, all those others who have supported you. So even though we can't be together uh, face to face today, we would like to mark the day by being with you in this way and to congratulate you all for the work you've done. Kogordikas Levelig, we celebrate with you on, on the day that is today. And secondly, we wanted to also recognize the work you are doing in the context of the role of the university in society. So when you when we look at the the titles and the detail of the work work you've completed here, uh, across a range of disciplines, this work is for the public good, and particularly in the context of COVID nineteen, the societal changes that have happened, research is particularly important in charting and navigating the future. And you today represent the values of NUI Galway for the public good in your research, for society and our planet in your research. Respect for yourselves, for the literature, for, for alternative points of view, for the evidence, particularly important in the current context, respect for the evidence uh, and its importance in shaping both uh, our thinking about the future, or imagining the future, or reimagining the future, and in shaping public policy, both at the institutional level and so profoundly for individuals as many of you have and do. Secondly, that sense of openness that you represent to new ideas, to new perspectives, that sense of openness that you yourself have experienced in the context of your research. And again, we thank you for that. We commend you for it. Thirdly, the excellence you've achieved today, the highest uh, degree awarded by the university as a, as a doctoral degree and as research degrees in masters uh, and uh, through other uh, taught programs at the master's level. This is an excellent outcome for you 
We commend you for the quality of your work and we thank you for it. And finally, in the context of our values as a university, uh, that sense of sustainability that comes with today. Very often we see sustainability as sustaining our environment as we see it on, on the campus as, as you uh, see it in front of you today. But also in the context of today, first of all, sustaining a new generation of scholarship, sustaining a new generation of research. But most importantly, and Paul, I'd particularly like to commend you for today and to thank you for today and to congratulate for you for today is sustaining your research in difficult times. So as we know, in, in March of 2020, our campus is closed. Our university didn't, but our campuses did. And the most enthusiastic reopening was from research around this time of year last year. Uh, it was a challenge for us, for us all. And many of you didn't actually manage to get back to campus. And that's something I think in either in spite of this or alongside this particular challenge, this immense challenge that you faced, you sustained your research, you kept with it, you were resilient. And we thank you for that. We know it wasn't easy and we know it was very challenging, but at the same time, we thank you for it and we're very grateful for it, for it and we commend you for it. And finally, I'll finish today by uh, thanking those around you as well. So as, we, as I said earlier, today we'd like to be with you virtually in this regard, but to be with those who supported you, your supervisors and those other uh, students with whom you worked on, on uh, in NUI Galway, but also all of those who supported you, friends, family, fans, supporters, those who we know through good times and bad, through happy times and sad, uh, sustain our students. And we know that this is really important for our students, and we know it was particularly important in the last 18 months or so. And to all of those who are now graduates all of those who supported them in so many ways, we thank you, we're, we're very grateful for it. We know it was a challenging time and we'd like to today just be with you as best we can in recognizing that particular achievement and in thanking you for all your support in achieving and in making it so. So, Gramina Mahagav, Tasul Gum Gumag, La Mahagav Makansha, Agus Gumag, Sail Ma, Agus, Agus, Tarhu, Lo Hav Taidida, Aguva Makansha, Freshen. Tommy the Sud Bula Liverishar Gampus, we're hoping to have an occasion again at some stage on campus when we can meet again in, in better times, in less challenging times. But for the moment, I'll say thank you all. And I'll echo Seamus Heaney's words about his own student while he told his own students about their own uh, uh, capacities and their destinies. We are here to develop your capacities, your destinies are your own. And I'll add to that that in particularly in the current context, you have developed your own capacities and your destinies are now your own, and we wish you the best in that. Grim Mahagav, agus ha eisul bulil v'n makan sio, ko gordag as livilig, agus gramaha gavilig, as ochta nubar, ta dainta gavin yu, agus as an eicht da bwinta maka gavin yu. Thank you very much. Thank you. That concludes the conferring ceremony. But before you go, I would ask you to join me in thanking those people whose hard work and professionalism ensure that a ceremony such as this runs smoothly. And in particular, my colleagues in registry, staff from the president's office, administrative staff from the college and school offices, audiovisual staff from Kelt, and with a very special thanks to David Brandt of Brandt Studios for this virtual filming of the confirming ceremony. To you, the graduates, I've just one last thing to say. Go now and make the most of the qualification you've gained and the life ahead of you. I hope you enjoy and celebrate this very special day with those who are surrounding you at the graduation. And I'm sure they are very proud of what you've achieved. Guru Mahagwif Gulair.